coming in as someone who's been in the biotech industry but not much else. I think some of the classes, such as healthcare markets, for instance, and biotech and pharma strategy, was really helpful for me because it helped me connect by past experience to what the rest of the healthcare sector was like, how the biotech and pharma space really fit into the payer space, the insurer space, medical devices, and everything else in between. For new people coming in, you should understand the sector as a whole. Just FYI, everybody wants to do the class, so you need to like choose it very fast. I came into business school having a really strong healthcare background, but really no formal business <laughs> expertise or, or education or vocabulary. The core finance and accounting classes were really critical for building a good business foundation. Corporate finance was one of the courses that has really stuck out, taught by the one and only John Graham. As an engineering undergrad, a lot of those financial terms were intimidating to me, but he does a great job of kind of breaking down concepts and making them real and applicable. I think of my very first academic experience at Cupro, which was HSN boot camp. It was a very intense four or five days. And I still think about the topics and the speakers and the different professors that we had during that week. That course was just so valuable. Even coming from a little bit of a healthcare background, I still learned a ton and I still draw upon a lot of the topics that we discussed during that very intense week. The biggest piece of advice that I have for current students is to be curious. You don't know what you're going to be doing in five years. And I mean that in a good way. There are so many opportunities and resources and exciting things, both at Fuqua within the HSN program and at Big Duke. So you only serve yourself well when you start to think about the broader ecosystem, what your skill sets are, and what you can do to create impact outside the walls and halls of Fuqua.